Alright guys, how's it going today? Um, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to create glowing light streak effects using Procreate. Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. No need to waste time. The first thing you're going to do is create a new layer on top of all of your other layers. So you'll have, you know, whatever your shadow layers, everything else, right? Whatever layers you have built up, you're going to make a new one on top of everything and you're going to set it to add. Okay. Next, you're going to pick uh, whatever color you want your streak to be, I'm going to be doing light blue. And whatever color you pick, make sure you pick a light color. So you can pick any hue you want, just make sure it's up here towards the top of the range. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick my brush. The brush I'm going to be using is a smoke brush, which is under the elements tab. And it's just a standard brush that comes with Procreate. You could use flames if you want, but I like the smoke one a little bit better. So this is the one we're going to go with. And I have the opacity down here at about 50%. The size you can adjust depending on what you want to work with. And we're going to start out by just doing, I'm going to imagine that this is wrapping around the flower, right? So there's like this swirly light pattern that wraps around the flower, okay? So um, I'm going to start out by doing uh, basically a zigzag shape around the flower, like this, okay? Now, what we're going to do stay on this layer, grab our eraser tool, and we're going to come in here and erase the parts that are supposed to be behind the flower, right? So I'm going to imagine this top part is coming in front, but this back part is wrapping around behind the rose. So with my eraser tool out, I'm going to erase away any part that should be behind the flower. Okay. There we go. So then as it comes around, it wraps around in front of the flower. And then as it goes back behind, we'll erase away this part. Okay. <clears throat> Grab the stem here. This leaf. Make sure that when you're doing the uh, the smoke part that you vary your pressure sensitivity so that it's not just one solid streak all the way across, right? You can see here on mine that it gets heavier and thinner and darker and lighter in some spots. That's because that's varying the pressure. If you just push the same thickness all the way around, it's not really going to look right. It will look like this. That's not what you want, right? But if we vary it, we can get some really nice effects. Okay. All right. So that's about good for this. Kind of has that feeling like it's wrapping around, but we're not quite done yet. I'm going to use my soft airbrush and pull away a little bit up here on the top where it's a little bit too strong for me. I want it to fade in more. Okay. It's better. But we still want to make it look like it's glowing even more. So the layer that I just created, I'm going to slide this over by sliding it left and hit duplicate. This is going to make a second one. All right. Now this first one that I created, we're going to use this top one as our main layer now and this bottom one for our adjustment layer. So we're going to make sure we have the bottom one selected, hit the adjustments tool up here in the top left. We're going to go to Gaussian blur and we're going to blur this out just enough to create a glow around our light. So I have it at about 75%. Okay. Next, we're going to go to back to our adjustments, go to hue and saturation and brightness, and we're going to slide the hue around so it's not quite the same color as our original light. That way we can work with it a little bit and uh, make it seem uh, multicolored instead of just one flat light all the way across. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is just lower the opacity until it looks more natural where we want it but just enough to still give it that glow. So you can see that's what it looked like before. This is what it looks like the glow, which makes it feel a lot more real, okay? And then after that, of course, you can go in, you can uh, relight your flower or whatever object it is, add some light in there to make it feel like there's a light source around it. Um, and it's just gonna be based off of where you put these rings. So for example, I'll just show you really quick what I would do. Create a new layer. Go ahead and set this layer to screen 
and then using the whatever color I was using to make my smoke with, I can come in here, make sure I have a right brush. Probably gonna use an airbrush for this one, and we'll put this underneath the line art. Um, maybe not actually. Let's put it right here because we are gonna be lowering the opacity. So, oops. I don't want that group selected, we want this, okay. So if I bring it in here, a little too high, bring down that size, I can start to brush in where the light is coming in the most on this flower. Okay, any parts up here that are gonna be getting it. And then I can go back with my eraser tool and clean it up a little bit. Okay. So, go back with my eraser, clean up these edges. I'm using the soft brush, the soft airbrush, because this is a really soft light source, right? So it's probably not gonna be super heavy. And then I'm just cleaning up all this stuff in here. And then once I do this, I can go ahead and lower the opacity on it, bring things back down to a reasonable level. So I'll finish this up really fast. Alright, looks pretty good. Any more spots we need to clean up? Nope, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I can just lower this opacity. And if I need to, I can adjust the hue and saturation a little bit more, bring up the saturation so it feels a little more blue. I'll do that twice. We'll even do it one more time to really make sure we can get some of that color showing through. There we go. And then you can adjust that once more to make sure that it feels just right. There you go. And that's how you can get a nice glow effect on your work. So we have our light layer that we use to light our plant. And with this, if you really want to make it look good, especially, this is more of like a sketch type painting, right? It just has some colors overlaid to sketch. But if you're really going to go for a more photorealistic look, you'll need to spend a lot of time really nailing that lighting down on the rows. Um, and then we have our glow layer, which is the afterglow of our streak, and then the actual light streak itself. Okay, so that's how you can create a light streak. Hope you guys learned something from that. If you want to see more tutorials, comment in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, I have one coming up on how to paint ocean water, as was requested. Um, and if you have any more that you need help with, let me know. Also, I have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to start doing live webinars. So look forward to that. I'll be painting live, answering questions live, giving feedback. Um, stuff like that. Also, <clears throat> I'm starting a Patreon account next month. So if you are a big fan of my work and you want to support me more, you'll be able to sign up for that. You'll get access to courses, exclusive content, screensavers, stuff like that. Bunch of really great stuff. And then lastly, this month I'll be launching uh, my biggest and most important and most exciting course yet, which is on light and color, all in light and color. So it's going to be going over everything from different lighting sources, uh, understanding how light and form interact with each other, understanding all the terminology, understanding how to make your colors look good and have good color schemes, all of that. It's going to go really in-depth, and it's going to be awesome. So look forward to that. Get excited. Um, it will be launched by the end of this month. So anyways, once again, comment if you have any suggestions. Subscribe if you liked what you saw, and be sure to tell a friend. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.